Welcome to Ask the Right Designer, where we discuss about different writing techniques to benefit every writing designer. Today, we got a request from one of our subscribers, Mr. Moeen. He wanted to understand how we can create extrusion volumes which are difficult or more complex than the standard square rectangle. So today, we will be trying to make a feature from the facade of one of the projects that I was working on to understand how we can create an object, a complex object, and how we can utilize extrusion volume for the same. To start with, we'll just open the dialogs and import one of the CAD drawing. In this case, we are importing an uh, elevation drawing because uh, we want to create uh, the facade model so we will create we will import the elevation drawing so just go to so we have the elevations now what we will try to do is we will try to create an arc which is a simple extrusion volume and we'll also try to create uh, a complex object which is a combination of multiple extrusion volumes. To understand how we can create extrusion volumes and what we can do to make a complex object. Before we go any further, I would like to remind the viewers that you, if you have any questions, queries related to lighting or design, you can drop it in the comments. Also, you can send us on the email ask the light designer at gmail.com all the links are in the description so for any importing of any drawing or image files from galaxy Evo 8 onwards you need to go through the process of importing then putting in the dimension scaling which we call it and then finally, so you have the import, setting up of the origin, then putting in the units of measurement. I go with millimeters. Let's see how it goes. Normally, millimeter or meter should work most of the times, unless it is um, some special scaling. So we can just check the length. So we can pick up any area, let's say this window. Let's see how much it is. Uh, it seems to be 0 0.8, which is logical. The window, it's a thin window, so it is logical that it could be 0 0.9. So the scaling is correct, and we'll import this file. Now, all these items you can create as an extrusion volume, but I will focus on just two of them as discussed. We'll try to create a very simple extrusion volume and a complex one. So let's start with the first one, which is a simple extrusion volume, an arc. So for this, you need to go to the object. And uh, so after we have imported the drawing, we'll go to the object. We'll select an extrusion volume. So now we'll zoom in. So we'll start we'll make this one so we'll create the arc of this so draw an extrusion volume uh, select a point it's, it's pretty simple you are just following the cat drawing or the image that whatever you have so in our case and we are following the border or the line of the uh, image so and here we go it's okay so if you make any error remember control Z you can always go back uh, so you don't have to repeat all over again so for example I make just control Z so that's how you just go back in the same view you don't have to create the old object again so that's a helpful tip in Evo so control Z okay so that brings us to the completion of 
right click close polygon okay so here we go so now if you can see let me just remove this one okay so now you can see we have created the arc but uh, we just need to make sure that the arc is uh, logical either you can get the dimensions from the architect because we have the elevation drawing over here but we don't know what is the thickness of the arc or anything from this elevation drawing so you can go back to the architect to get the thickness or you can approximate so i'll just go with an approximation of 0 0.05 yes because normally the window arc is not very thick so that's what i will do now uh, there is one more step that we need to do when you are having the CAD you are creating the object you are creating it 2d but when it we are talking about elevations it is always in 90 degrees so what we will do we will create this object and we will just rotate it so if it's a single object you can just put it over here as 90 degree but if it is a multiple objects and you don't want to combine them you can just select multiple objects and you can easily rotate them using this rotation and then move them accordingly also we have the front view where you can locate them so for now we'll just keep it down over here okay so that's how you will create a simple arc uh, we can also give it some color from here so we'll just uh, go to color catalog we'll just use beach so there you go you have the color so you have a simple object using a simple extrusion volume and now you see we are we have created the object and we have rotated it now we'll go to a bit more complex uh, all these items can be created using extrusion volume you have the columns you have the arc all of them even these can be created or you can approximate them to simpler design uh, but we will focus on this one because this looks very beautiful so we will try to create this uh, Arabic design to uh, so the process is same you will just go and create the extrusion volume and you will keep in the items so there we go now again right click close the polygon now again we need to remember that uh, we need to remember that uh, we need to put in the height so again we'll just we'll, for this one we'll, i will go with 0 0.1 and then just uh, we need to make it a combination of different objects uh okay maybe not like this we'll just rotate this one okay so what we are doing is we are trying to create different objects and then at the end we will combine them all so now we have created one object now we will make another one which is so as you can see it's very simple you need to follow the you need to follow the uh, extrusion line uh, to create the extrusion object and then put in the dimension for the extrusion object and voila you have your own object so now we have this at uh, again 0 0.1 sorry 0 0.1 so now we can just check the 3d how it is coming in 3d so we have it over here if you can see okay it's very thick actually so what i will do is i will stick to 0 0.05 which is much better yes so this dimensions it will be better to check with the architect what is the actual dimension of the item so you can create the item much more better and then we are just copying so control c control v okay and then uh, rotate and voila so now we have created uh, this outer design now we need to create the inside design uh, 
it's pretty simple uh, what we'll do is rather than going through all of them and creating like different designs and all what I will do is I will just create a cube and put it at 0 0.05 then as I said creating an extrusion volume a complex extrusion volume is a combination of uh, it's a it's a mix of uh, creating the objects itself and then having uh, the arithmetic uh, which is uh, addition and subtraction of objects so in this case uh, we'll just copy paste the other object and then we have uh, so so now we have the object with uh, we'll just keep it 0 0.06 and you can see it sideways what we are trying to do is we are trying to subtract this from the other object. So before I go ahead, I think I'll just, uh, so we have one at 0 0.06. We'll just reduce it to this size. And okay, and there we have it. So what we'll do is we'll just, because we don't need this inside object, so we'll subtract this one. Okay, so I think this is the right way to do it. Yes. So now you can see we have the object without, uh, so now it is subtracted. Okay, and okay, so what we did, we just selected which object it is and then we subtract it. Okay. So now we have this object and then we will just go back to we'll copy paste or then just rotate this one so it fits the other so you have uh, like uh, so you have your 3d view then we'll finally uh, what we'll do is we'll also create this one uh, before we do that we can also adjust it just to make it more accurate so we have here over here. Finally, we'll create this uh, object inside, which is, uh, so again, the same concept we'll follow. We'll just create the outer design and then we'll uh, cut the object, we'll subtract the object from the inside. And then we'll finally create a much more complex object from this. So there we go. Right click, close polygon. Now before we finish this one, let me just, okay, so there we go. Now we will control C, control V. Okay, and then we'll just reduce it to this size so we can subtract this object from here when we are done. And this we want to make it 0 0.05 as we have for all other. Now with this one we'll make it 0 0.06. The reason for this adjustment is so that it subtracts on both the sides because if you don't adjust it in the center, it will subtract only from one side. So we need to subtract it through and through. So the pink one should be the bigger one and now we'll subtract it. So now you see you have the complete object over here and you can so we have the complete object in 3d now we need to do one more step which is combining the whole item to make it as a one object so what we'll do is we'll select all of them now there is one point of concern over here for example you see now if the object that we select last is the object of which the center of uh, uh, the center of the zone uh, the center of the final object will be for example in this case if i am selecting like this and then i am selecting this one and now i am doing combine see the center of the object shifts now we don't want it to be like this so we we'll just split it uh, what i will do is mistake should not split the objects 
Okay. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll combine at the end, we'll add this one because we need the center. So let's combine. And now you have it at the center. So this is very necessary whenever you are dealing with complex object to have the center of gravity. So we need to just check how is the center of gravity coming in. Because unlike Daleks 4.13, we don't have the option of changing the center of origin in Daleks either. But there you have it. So that's how you can create a complex object and a simple object. So this is how the whole output will look like. So you have your arc, you have your uh, uh, complex objects, as you can see, uh, you have more complex 3D Arabic design. You have all of these items in the arc, the indents and even the arcs for the windows, the pillars, everything was created in Dalek Skiva, as you can see. And that's how you can make your own design with 3D objects, complex 3D objects. It's simply creating extrusion volume, adding or subtracting, and then finally making a combined object. Hope this video was helpful for you to create more complex objects. Till we meet next time, remember, keep lighting, keep brightening lives. And if you have any queries or questions, just drop them in the comment box or send us at askthelightdesigner at gmail.com.